All right, good morning. We are doing family math time this morning, and Elise has been sorting and counting Fruit Loops. And this she, is our snack. Oh, it's also our snack, and she just recorded all of those numbers. Isaac's been doing some math review sheets, and Caleb, what have you been up to? Eating. Eating. And Laura has been up to throwing them all over the ground. Haven't you? Anyway, Jeremy left early this morning to head out for getting prepped for his trial, and he's going to be gone all day. I think we're going to meet him somewhere for dinner, and then he might be home by like midnight tonight. We'll see. So, fingers crossed. Wishing him luck. What? And wish me luck for making it through a whole day and a night without him. So, Caleb and Laura keep me on my toes pretty much all day, every day. And sometimes I think I'm gonna pull my hair out, but then I see moments like this. Well, pants, green. No, well, pants, red pants, green pants. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll keep them. Now Miss Elise is working on some patterns. Mm -hmm. This one. This one is. Not that hard. This one is very hard. But I bet you can figure this one out. Ready? Blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, er. Listen to the pattern again. Blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow, orange. Blue, yellow. Orange? Yeah! That's right. What comes after the orange? Blue. What comes after the blue? Yellow. What comes after the yellow? Orange! What comes after the orange? Blue. Yellow. Orange! The ants are marching two by two and we'll stop to take a two. <laughs> and they are going marching down to ground top of the rain. The two by two Are you today? <laughs> so after school this morning we went over to hang out with my friend Amy. She's another homeschooling mom. She has five kids. She lives in this area and she's been homeschooling for a long time and over those years she has accumulated a wealth of knowledge about homeschooling and a lot of homeschooling stuff. So I'll be over there and we're chatting and I'm like oh hey have you heard of this math manipulative and she's like oh yeah I've got it. Do you want to borrow it? I'm like Okay, and then I'll say, oh, did you see there's like this reading curriculum? And she's like, oh yeah, I have that. We used that a few years ago. Do you want to borrow it? I'm like, okay. So look what I came home with from her house. <laughs> Seriously? Like, this is almost embarrassing. But she also, she had a big box of stuff that she was taking to the thrift store, and it had a bunch of homeschooling stuff in it. So she's like, hey, do you want this? Do you want this? I'm like, sure. So I got several big floor puzzles, which Caleb loves. These are puzzle books, which I had never heard of before, but I'm really excited. I think especially Elise is gonna really like those. Then this is a Spanish memory game. And this is a like handwriting manipulative thing that I think will be great for Caleb and Elise. There's a color matching game. These place value blocks we are just borrowing. Um, then there's all these flashcards, some Ramona books, this book about teaching the parables of Jesus to children, a bunch of other flashcards, this reading curriculum I'm really excited to look closer at, and she's got the flashcards to do that, what your second grader needs to know, a devotional book for me, a math matching game, and some other workbooks. So. Anyway, I'm just amazed with her generosity and her willingness to share what she has, and just so grateful. Like not just talking about the stuff that she's sharing with me, but just her knowledge. Like she was explaining how she gives the kids their lesson plans and how she does this. And it's just so nice to learn from those that are ahead of us on the path of life. You playing with the Legos, big girl? Yeah? Hey, Liv and Laura over here. What'd you make, dude? Uh, Casey for Casey Royals? I totally see it. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Nailed it. So 
we are here at a homeschool Lego activity at the library, and I had to wake up Laura to bring her, so she's still kind of, kind of coming too. A dog in its bed, very nice. All right, what'd you make? A gun. A gun. And then, ah, ah, it broke apart. Cubby, what did you make? A door gun. A door gun. Like this. Open this, there's fire, and then, all right, since Jeremy is working so hard today, he is meeting us out here at the restaurant for dinner. He could have come home and had dinner, but he always gets sucked into staying for a while, and so we figured this way we could just meet up, see each other for a minute, he could eat, and then have no stress and head right back to work. So we're going to meet up with him here. Oh, and did I mention we're at Chick-fil-A? Of course. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Apparently I'm base. Yeah! Goodbye and good luck to Jeremy. Can you guys give daddy hugs? Say it's goodbye. Be a long night. Give daddy hugs. Say good luck. Bye bye. Bye. Good luck. Bye. I just got to finalize everything so it's all ready to go for opening, direct, cross examination, closing argument. All right, so we decided to go on a walk again before bedtime, get some last wiggles out, and then hope for the best with bedtime. But check out who's going on the walk with me. We have Super Elise. Footballic, yeah. Footballic? Like I thought you were a sport bad guy. Uh, no. And a I, bad guy. There are some sports that I don't like, so I just change it to football. What's your name? I can't talk. Oh. Okay. I can save the world. You can save the world? Yes. All right. Because I have superpowers, and I can touch the sky. What kind of superpowers do you have? I have freeze powers, um, turn into anything powers. Well, mostly horse, I choose. And I have forest fields, running fast, speed, how, speed power, and I got punching power and kicking power, and I got um, saving babies, and I got saving the whole world. Awesome, I'm glad we have Super Elise. <laughs> Come on, Cubby. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I got to figure out when to go grab you. That was my chance. No. <laughs> And I'm a genius. We're currently locked out of our house. We have a like passcode on our garage, and I can't remember the code. So I'm calling Jeremy and hoping he answers. Hey, um, what's the code for our garage? All right, well, Jeremy knew the code and saved the day. So we are inside. We're going to do bedtime. Wish me luck. You guys want to say Jay House out? Jay House out! Out! There we go. Jay has that. See you tomorrow. Bye. Laura can push you. Yeah, watch. <laughs>